We are out at Lake Decatur. This is once again Ted the Speed Learner and we are approaching a historical marker on the south side of town. It looks like we're headed for a historic home site. Hey, let me read this to you real quick. Ooh, there we go. William Downing was the first white settler to build a permanent home in the area which became Macon County, Illinois. He built his cabin in 1820, approximately three-tenths of a mile southeast of this marker, high on the bluff known as Indian Bluff, which overlooked the Sangamon River to the north. He was a bee hunter and trapper. In 1824, Mr. Downing sold his log cabin and other improvements to John Ward, and he and his large family returned to Bond County, Illinois. Mr. Ward operated a general store at his home oh, <laughs> let me try that again. Mr. Ward operated a general store at his home site on Indian Bluff in order to supply early settlers in the area and his home became the nucleus of the Ward settlement south of the Sangamon River. He and his family lived there for five years before he purchased the 80 acre tract of land that his home was located on from the federal government. The land had been surveyed by the government and submitted for certification on March 1, 1823. Mr. Ward purchased this 80 acres from the federal government's district land office in Vandalia on October 17, 1829 for $100. The legal description of this land was west one half, southwest one quarter, section 23, T16N, R2E of the third principal meridian starting about 500 feet due southeast of this marker. This parcel of land measured approximately one-fourth of a mile to the north, east, and south forming a rectangular shape measuring half mile to the north and south and one-quarter mile to the east and west. Macon County was established January 19, 1829 by the Illinois Sixth General Assembly at the state capitol in Vandalia. The next day, the assembly approved a public state road running north and south through Macon County. Starting at Shelbyville, the, ro the road was to go through Ward's settlement, thence through Tazewell County to the mouth of the Big Vermilion on the Illinois River. John Ward was one of the three commissioners appointed to view, mark, and lay out this road. On May 14, 1829, the three commissioners submitted signed certification that this 120-mile road had been routed. By this time, Decatur had been officially located as the county seat of justice effective April 10, 1829. The submitted map showed that, that the next point recorded after Decatur going south was Indian Bluff before running the additional 28 miles to Shelbyville. John Ward was issued Macon County's first ferry license on December, 7th, on December 7th, 1829, and he operated a ferry across the Sangamon River as well as operating a store at his home site on Indian Bluff. The license was granted for him to keep a ferry on the North Fork of the Sangamon River where the road from Shelbyville to Decatur crosses the same. Mr. Ward died August 22, 1831, and his large family remained in Macon County. His 80-acre home site with appurtenances was sold December 25, 1837 in order to help settle his estate and distribute it to his heirs at law who were his seven children. It was purchased for $547.20 by Elijah Freeman and Andrew W. Smith. Elijah was married to Mr. Ward's sister, Margaret. His additional four tracts of land, totally 280 acres, were equally divided among his heirs or sold. After 1837 and until 1865, the ownership of acreage in the 80-acre home site changed several times. In 1865, David L. Allen purchased the 40 acres on the south half and erected his country home with the imposing eight-sided tower, which was used for his operary. In, 19 in 1910, Adolf Mueller bought this 40 acres, and in 1920, the Mueller Lodge was constructed near where the Allen House had stood. The Mueller Lodge was the heart of Mueller Heights. At the present time, the northern two-thirds of the aforementioned 80 acres with the, Sangamon River, with the Sangamon River Channel flowing through its covered... Okay, let's try that one more time. 
the present time the northern two-thirds of the aforementioned 80 acres with the Sangamon River channel flowing through it is covered by Lake Decatur. The historic cabin would have been located in the proximity of where Mueller Large had been standing for 84 years. Okay, folks, I'm just going to show you this real quick. Take a look at that beautiful scenery. Wow! Beautiful, isn't it? Alrighty, folks, this is Ted the Speed Learner signing off. Stay tuned for more.